I'm currently using the live flash drive to boot into Linux Mint on my Chromebook 13. Obviously, you don't want to be running Linux off of a flash drive, USB flash drive. It's more optimal if you have a SSD or an M2 drive to USB. Those will run a lot faster or even just installing it internally. But I'm cheap and I didn't want to use these drives because they stick out like a thumb right now. I don't have a good portable solution. I like using a flash drive because it's really small, even though it'll run slower, a lot slower. I already tried in, uh, using the live installer to install it into this flash drive. So if you were planning to use your Linux live flash drive daily, the problem is after you reboot, it, it uh, erases your settings. So there's this thing called persistence. And I'm gonna go through how to use Rufus to create a persistent partition. It's nothing, you don't even need a video for that. But over here, I'm at the Linux Mint website and I'm gonna download Cinnamon or just show you how I downloaded it. Scroll to the very bottom and then you have these mirror sites that you can download from. Click on it, it'll download to your download folder. So I did that. Went to Rufus website download and downloaded Rufus Portable. Uh, this is for Windows, of course. Uh, and finally, I'm ready to use Rufus. So over here, let me close this. Let me get my flash drive. This is a 64 gigabyte flash drive, which I'm gonna be using. Pop it into my computer over here. Flash drive is in. Let me turn on Rufus. Yes. So make sure you have the right device. This is a 64 gigabyte device over here. Then choose your ISO file. Mine's the Linux Mint over here. Right after you choose your ISO file, now you can choose your persistent partition size. Just use the scroller or type it in. I put in a pretty big number, like 50 gigabytes. Um, with that said and done, once you're ready, press start and that's it. It's gonna create the partition. Uh, usually this takes like 10 minutes without persistence, but with persistence, if you add it in, it ended up taking me about 40 minutes, so an extra 30 minutes to do. There's a reason why you can Google it. But anyways, that's, that's all it takes to create a flash drive with persistence. It it's technically was in beta for Rufus, but uh, a developer said it's, it's actually usable with uh, Ubuntu type uh, distros. distros. Anyway, so I'm, I already did that. I'm not gonna go through that process. So this flash drive already has a persistent folder in it and I can kind of show, let me see if I can show you. So I already plugged it in, flash drive, uh, and I did sudo fdiskl L, dash L. And this is the drive. And so you have your regular partition over here. The first one, which uh, has a uh, Linux Minute Live. And the second partition is the um, persistent storage. So it looks like it's ready. So I'm gonna go boot in. I'm gonna turn this off and boot into this drive. I'm gonna plug in this drive right now. It's all plugged in, so I'm gonna turn it on. Press Control L then escape. Choose my Google flash drive. Now at this point, I'm gonna press tab to edit the options. What Rufus doesn't do is it doesn't alter the uh, bootloader option so it can actually use persistence. So I went on to uh, the web, of course, sitting on linux.com and they said that to enable persistence, you need to add the persistent flag, persistent. And so that's what I'm doing. So I went to edit and to actually use persistence, I have to add the persist 
dent. So at the most basic level, this should help uh, save settings like your Wi-Fi settings or if you want to create an account, it should create an account and let you save that account. So it's currently booting right now to Linux Mint. Uh, with persistence on, you'll notice a difference of boot time. Instead of taking a minute to load or a little over a minute, it takes like a few minutes. So uh, I won't make you wait that whole time, but it's currently working uh, because I know it's taking longer to load. Uh, so I'll come back once it's booted and I'll show you how I can save some settings and see, show it that it sticks. It's booted up now. Shows there's no Wi-Fi. So that's the very first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to enable Wi-Fi. So let me connect to my Wi-Fi. It's connected to the Wi-Fi. So if persistence is working, when I reboot, it should save the Wi-Fi. The next thing I can test is adding a user group or a user. So I'm going to go type in user. So user and user groups. I'm going to add a user called Alex Dude. That's admin. Let me go do that. I clicked the add button a few seconds ago and it's currently trying to add right now. It was a little slow, it took about a minute, but here it is. Uh, I can add a password, which I will do now. Adding a password, let me let it go. Uh, one thing I wasn't able to do is I tried changing some settings in Firefox and save, you know, and closed. And when I rebooted, those settings didn't save. For instance, opening Firefox right now, it's definitely slower, but not as slow as installing onto USB flash drive. So I want to general open from, this is what, why I wanted to try and I wanted to try YouTube. But let me go restart the machine and then uh, we'll see if at least the Wi-Fi and the uh, user account setting over here stick after reboot, okay? And again, I need to use persistent at the flag at the very end when I'm booting in. Also, when you shut down the computer, it takes a long time to shut down with persistent mode enabled. So this has been going on for... I shut it down and it's been going for about two minutes already and it's still waiting to shut down. Right after it paused, it showed that screen. So it's ready to shut down. Okay, so I rebooted. I'm in the Linux Mint splash screen. Again, you can choose whatever option you need, but you have to press tab to edit the line. So I'm pressing tab. And here's the menu. I'm gonna press space and then type in persistent again, persist. And that's telling it to use the uh, other partition, the persistence partition, and pressing enter. So again, this is going to take a few minutes to boot in, and I'll come back when it's all booted. It's going to boot up any minute now. And when it does, let's see if Wi-Fi is enabled. Let's see if the user account's there. Booted and the Wi-Fi is automatically enabled. You can see over here. So that's the first thing. Everything's still loading up. As a reminder, you'll have to always put in that persistent flag when it's at the bootloader. So let me go user accounts. So that's, uh, I'm pretty sure you can modify that setting so it always loads persistent or you can add another line and you can see I have my Alex dude account that I created which was saved now 
Um, I highly doubt if I open Firefox, it'll work where it saved my last website. But anyways, that's pretty much it. Uh, again, uh, it runs a lot slower with persistence, but it's still faster than it had you installed it onto a USB flash drive. So it's sort of like a nice compromise Actually, it did save the setting for YouTube. I mean, for Firefox, because I was in YouTube last, and now it's loading YouTube. So again, this is nice. Um, it's slower, but I mean, at least I can save settings. And that's it. Just wanted to show that.